Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing part two of my lipstick declutter. I am going to jump into this but I will just quickly remind everyone or in case you didn't see part one with any of the lipsticks that I've decided not to keep I am either going to be uh, offering them to friends and family if they're still in good condition and within their expiry date. If they are not really in good condition or beyond their expiry date, I'm just going to be dumping them. They're going to be going in the trash. I was actually really, really happy with how well I did last time. I know, big me up, big me up, big, 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 big me up. Like the self-congratulation committee has arrived. But I was really, really pleased because I got rid of like 50% of my lipsticks. So I'm really, really eager to get rid of some more fecking lipsticks today because since I filmed part one, and it's the same thing with that eyeshadow, my eyeshadow palettes as well. But I'm realizing that I'm actually reaching for eyeshadow palettes that previously I neglected because I couldn't see them in amongst the mountain of other eyeshadow palettes or lipsticks that I had. So I'm actually really enjoying more of my like, favorite makeup products, if that makes sense, because I'm not being like distracted by all the shit that I don't like, that I wasted my money on. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into this. Do you know what? I'm looking at these lipsticks and I'm thinking, did I not include some of these in my last, my last declutter? And I'm thinking, have I just absentmindedly like put them back in to just be decluttered again? Like, I don't know, but okay, anyway, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. Do I go for it? Am I just repeating myself here? Oh well, feck it, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, the first lipsticks that we have to discuss are by Kat Von D. So I think that these are called the mini studded lips. They're obviously like a mini version of the studded version. So I could not Excuse me, what is going on back there, girls? Like, sorry, I could hear like banging. I was like, what is banging? I mean, I knew it was the bunnies, but I was like, what But what are they banging? Like, what are they destroying? But anyway, yeah, I could not resist this collection when I saw it, A, because it was by Kat Von D, and I, at the time, I'd never tried any lip products by Kat Von D, but B, because the shades are just so up my street. I remember I was really, really into the grey one, which is called Zero. I was obsessed with this shade, and I really wanted to buy it, but... Then when I saw this kind of mini set that featured like five other shades, I was like, well, yeah, that seems like better value for money because let's be real. How many times am I actually going to be rocking a grey lipstick? So I got the full set. I think it's called like the Rock Candy set. And I must say, I am surprised that I've not really worn any of these lipsticks as much as I thought I would have done. Like, even now I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, yeah, these seem like shades that I would probably wear all the time. But no, they're not. Like, I never, ever reach for these. I think the formula's okay. They've got a nice smell to them. They they look good on the lips. Like, there's no issue whatsoever with the formula or how they look on the lips. I just think it's the shades. I just never really fell in love with any of the shades even the grey one. My favourite shade, if I had to say, would probably be this beautiful kind of royal purple shade. And I have to say as well, I do really, really like the studded packaging. I just think that looks like really, really kind of unique and cool. But I, I cannot think of a time when I've actually worn the pinks. Do you know what? Right. I can't get rid of them all. I can't. And I feel like even though I don't really wear them a lot, again, is it a case that I have just been distracted by all the other shit that I don't wear? Oh, do you know what? This is a tough one, this, because I just feel like I need to keep them all, but I, I don't wear them. So, you know what? I am going to keep the grey because I don't really have any other grey lipsticks. So, it seems like a reasonable choice to keep the grey. I'm also going to be keeping the royal purple because this is my favourite shade in the set and I don't have any other uh, shades like this. I'm going to be giving Ozzy away, which is the lighter purple. I'm going to be giving away the kind of pinky version, which I don't think I ever wore. 
it's just like these two pinks like i don't want to keep them both i just don't so these are the two pink shades i think just at a glance oh i'm gonna have to swatch okay so we have like a neon pink and a coral pink do you know what this coral pink let me just show you so they're the two shades i am going to keep the coral pink i'm going to get rid of the neon pink good decision good decision girlfriend oh i forgot which is which this is the coral right yeah okay so i'm going to keep this one so this is what's that the coral do you know what i'm getting really confused i've actually been really good there it's against self-congratulatory society has entered the room but i'm going to be keeping that one get rid of that one so i go into 50 percent of them so i'm really very pleased with that okay so next we have two more of the lucid lip lip glosses these are both from clydes makeup i really do like this formula for a lip gloss it's definitely like non-sticking it's very comfortable on the lips and if you're a fan of lip glosses that have glitter in them i definitely think that these would be a really really good one to go for but i never wear this red one i do oh my gosh i've just remembered like i have worn it oh and this is where the justification comes in for keeping things even if it's a thing that you never use so ah uh, okay do you know what oh, i'm gonna keep them both and what i was gonna say was i love this this blue one as you can see like i probably use like 70 percent of it i really like this so like i'm definitely keeping that one but i do wear this one sometimes because of the fact it is a really comfortable lip gloss so i'm going to be keeping that one too okay shoot me i mean just shoot me i'm a lipstick addict what can i say okay so next we have a classic mac lipstick so this one is ruby woo and i'm actually wearing this one today so i'm just gonna show you what this looks like i think this is the most gorgeous classic red it's just perfection i heard lots of horror stories i shouldn't say horror stories definitely over exaggeration but loads of people have kind of criticized ruby woo for being incredibly drying but i don't find that to be the case i actually think for a matte it's remarkably kind of comfortable so i am going to keep this because it's just a wonderful classic red whenever i just want a classic red i will reach for her and she does a great job uh, this as well is the only true velvet matte finish that i've ever found in any lipstick loads of lipsticks claim to be velvet matte so few are okay so next i have a full size version of a nyx liquid suede this is in the shade stone fox i did get rid of a lot of mini liquid suede in the first lipstick declutter because the formula is just super uncomfortable i got this gray actually oh did you hear me earlier i've just been caught out on one of my own not lies because i didn't intentionally lie but just like something a truth that my brain told itself in the moment to try and purchase a lipstick you know when i said that i didn't have a gray so i wanted to buy the gray and then i ended up keeping this because i didn't have another gray and i was like oh i don't have any other grays i've got to keep a gray but then i actually i do have another gray which is this one it's stone fox and it's here to trip me up today i never wear this it's one of those lip colors that when you see other people wear it it looks amazing and then you buy it and it just looks shit that's kind of the situation with this so i am going to be very easily getting rid of stone fox by nyx today okay so sticking with nyx i have one of their slip tees it, it calls itself a lip lacquer um i hate the word lacquer it makes me think of like i don't know um i don't mean this in like an offensive way but like a grandma kind of thing like oh have you got you got your, your lacquers don't forget your lacquers ladies bring your lacquer to the bingo today don't forget the lacquers for the bingo we must have lacquer at the bingo i just don't like the word lacquer so this is in the shade undercover babe and essentially it is a very highly pigmented lip gloss i absolutely love this i love the formula i love the shade it's like a beautiful nude kind of beige <gasps> she's perfect i wear her all the time I'm definitely going to be keeping her and I would definitely buy more of these. Okay, so next I have more of the liquid suede and I, I'm not quite sure where these came from, but I've got more. Uh, we've got purples, we've got navy blue, we've got bright blue, which who is wearing this shade? Who? I mean, I've worn it maybe once. I mean, no offense. I actually say that 
with admiration. If you wear this blue shade, I admire you. You are an icon because I would love to be able to wear this shade and I just can't. Similar to the previous declutter, I don't like the liquid suede formula. I know a lot of people love it, but for me, I just find it extremely drying and it always cracks in the inner corner of my lips. So I am gonna be getting rid of all of these, which is a massive win because all of a sudden I have more lipsticks in the getting rid of pile. Thank you, Liquid Suede. Okay, so next I have a liquid lipstick. This is by Melt Cosmetics and it's in the shade Ladylike. I love the packaging of this, by the way. I know it's a moot point, but I really, really love it. So I only recently got this. It's a very, very like milky kind of pink shade. It does need a couple of layers, otherwise it will look streaky because it is quite a milky light shade. I really like this, I'm keeping her. Okay, so next I have a Jeffree Star Velo liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Queen Supreme. So I bought this because I thought it was gonna be the most perfect neon pink. If you watch my last lipstick declutter, I was talking about a liquid suede shade. It was called Respect the Pink and it was a very beautiful neon pink shade, but I couldn't buy it because I think NYX discontinued it. So I bought this Jeffree Star version because I thought it was going to be like an exact dupe. Unfortunately, it was not. I very rarely wear this, but I do sometimes because it is a beautiful, cool toned pink. So for that reason, I am not ready to get rid of her yet, but um, I'm going to really try and make the effort to actually wear her so that I can enjoy her. Okay, so next we have one of my favourite lipsticks of all time. And this is also one of my most expensive lipsticks of all time, which I'm kind of happy really about the fact that, you know, that like this and Child Star by Too Faced, they're my two favourite lip products of all time. And I'm actually really pleased that one of those is the most expensive lip product I that I own because at least it was worth it. You know what I mean? Because I do love it genuinely. But this is one of Nazi's audacious lipsticks. It's in the shade Julie. This is a sad story though. Do you know? It went from a happy story to a sad story. It's in the shade Julie and it's a beautiful peach shade. I love this shade. Like this is perfect. What did Nas decide to go and fecking do? after they made me fall in love with this after almost bankrupting myself to pay for it. They've discontinued the fecking shade, haven't they? Yes, they have. They've kept all the mediocre fecking shades, which you can buy those shades from any brand anywhere. But truly, the most perfect peach ever. They just decide, oh, we're going to discontinue this. Yeah, and when she gave a kidney to be able to buy it, she fell head over heels in love with it. But we're going to discontinue it. Yes, we are. So if you ever see Julie anywhere, please let me know because I want to buy her. Um, I'm just clinging on for dear life. This is kind of like not a get rid of, not a keep. It's a I'm clinging on to this fecker for dear life. I just am afraid to use her because I don't want that used to be my last. Do you know what I mean? I may just put her in like, you know, one of those like, well, I may resin her uh, so she can just live on forever, resined. I may do it. So I'm definitely keeping this. And I remember, by the way, just a little nostalgic tale. When I bought her at the time, there weren't many lipstick bullets that had a magnet in them. And I just remember thinking that was like the height of technology. I was like, wow, wow, what will we be doing next? Will we be flying to space with our lipsticks? I don't know why we'd be flying to space with our lipsticks, but I just thought it was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. Okay, I've just found another liquid suede, so that one's going in the go pile. I have three lipsticks here, which are by MAC. Uh, these are minis. I wear this little fecker all the time. This one is in the shade Feed the Senses. And it, you like if you've watched any of my videos, chances are you've seen me wear this about... 50 times. So I'm definitely keeping her. These two shades I don't wear a lot, but I do wear sometimes. <laughs> that should be like the, the title of the video. I, I don't wear a lot, but I do wear sometimes, so I'm gonna keep them. So we have uh, Smoked Rose. These have like the most obscure names ever. Smoked Rose and Just Chilling. So I'm gonna be keeping both of these because I do really like the formula. And whenever I'm in the mood for like something vibrant, something a bit different, then I'll go for those because generally I'll wear 
Peach Lip Products Nudes. That's it. Peach. A nudey pink, a nudey brown. That's it. But every so often, I wear a red. I wear like a, a hot pink, fuchsia pink. Um, and these two do come in handy when I'm just having a moment of wanting to do something a bit different. I've got these two stragglers. We have a mini... Uh, Jeffree Star. This is in the shade Leo. Did I like the shade? Yes, I did. It was actually really beautiful, but I've definitely used her up, so she is going to go. I also have one by a Millet Pepper brand. This is an unknown, I should say unknown, I should say indie brand. That would be politically correct, but this one is in the shade City Night, and it's a classic red, which is probably very similar to Ruby Woo, but for a fraction of the price. I am going to be getting rid of her because there's only Ruby in my life for one red apparently so she is going okay so next I have two lip glosses that I definitely am not going to be getting rid of so these are by Pat McGrath and they are the lust glosses so I've got two shades I have like a pink one that has like iridescent glitters in it and this one is in the shade future femme and I also have Peach Perversion, which again, it's got like iridescent gl glitters in it, but this one is a peachy kind of tone. I absolutely love these. They smell delightful. These smell nicer than any other lip products I own. The formula is just so comfortable. They look so beautiful on the lips. They just make it look like you've had an instant kind of bit of a lip filler because they make your lips look like 3D and voluminous and juicy. Uh, if I discovered these before getting lip filler, I probably never would have got lip filler because these just make your lips look amazing. I'm definitely going to be keeping these. And by the way, I did pick those up in the, at the sale. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I would ever pay full price for them, which is about £26. I don't know if I could quite justify that to myself, but the fact that I got them for about £12 was acceptable to me and they are not going anywhere. Okay, so next I have more products by NYX. These are the Lip Lingerie Push-Ups. So these are essentially like a crayon matte lip product, but the thing that makes these really like delightful is that they just stay on your lips for hours, like absolutely hours, which is very amazing, especially when you're constantly snacking they're not going anywhere and actually it can be quite tricky to remove them but I will not complain because I love myself a lip product that actually stays on your lips throughout all of the snacking. So I do have three different shades. I have Corset, Embellishment and Teddy. So NYX have brought out many different formulations of this whole lip lingerie line. They had liquid lipsticks, they had um something else which I cannot remember and they had these kind of push-up crayons. I think I'm fairly 100% honest that all of the shades do correlate with the shades in the liquid lipsticks. I think and I'm pretty sure that's the case. I've just remembered I've got another one. Oh my gosh, I really do love these. So this one is in the shade Silk Indulgent and actually I did try this one at the weekend and I loved it. It's the most perfect peach nude and again, it's just like, it's for such a nude shade, it wasn't very patchy, it looked really good, and it stayed on for ages. So I'm definitely going to be keeping Silk Indulgent, because I love that shade. And if you're a fan of peaches, you need it. I am definitely going to be keeping Corset, which is the most beautiful nude. It's like a brown-based nude, and it is my perfect kind of brown based nude shade. I love me a brown based nude. Um, so the two other shades are Embellishment, which is like a plum shade. I don't wear this ever. It's kind of like a vampy plum. I, I just don't wear her. And the second shade is like a brown and this is in the shade Teddy. Again, I don't wear her at all. Brown always looks really good on everyone else, but on me, it just does not look great. I can't say goodbye because I love the formula so much. I feel like if I ever created like an, a makeup look that calls for like a plum, a rich chocolate brown, I just feel like these would be perfect. So for that reason, I'm going to be keeping them. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm not doing so well. I feel like I went from hero 
in the last declutter to zero in this declutter because I'm just looking at the measly four products that I've decided, oh yes, I can, can you know, detach from. And I, oh my gosh, right, this is not good. I need to be firm with myself here. I'm going to do that thing, you know, at the end of the video, which I'm sure you do this, but you know, when you go shopping to Tesco and you just put, actually, it's not really Tesco for me, it's B&M bargains. If you're in the UK, you're going to know exactly what I mean. But you go around, you just throw loads of stuff in the trolley. Like you went in to buy an air freshener. You've got a trolley full of stuff when you get to the checkout. So what I always do is I stop in like a quiet little area of the, the store and I'll just like unload shit that I actually don't need. I just got really carried away with like popping it in the basket. So I feel like at the end of the video, I am going to do that. I'm going to review my decisions and hopefully just try and feck off some more. But okay, so actually this is what I'm going to feck off. The, this was not a strategic decision, I promise. It was, but anyway. So the next one is by Essence. This is a lip tint kind of shenanigans. I am going to get rid of this. No actual criticism of the product, but I just don't wear it. So, oh, bye. We now have five in the pile. Yes. Okay, so next I have two liquid lipsticks from Javaya's Place. I have a beautiful metallic beige, and then I have just a kind of matte beige. So uh, the matte beige is, oh, they're both called Candace. Candace. So I really, really love these. I remember that there, there was a time about 18 months ago. Oh my gosh, are these, these may be expired actually, but anyway so there was a time where i would just wear the metallic one for work every single day a because it looks really good but b because it was just insanely comfortable so i'm going to be keeping the metallic one because she is gorgeous and so comfortable the other one i wore in a video a few days ago and i fell in love with her all over again so i am definitely i'm going to be keeping her too do you know what i can only just think that because I got rid of so many lip products in the last video, it's kind of more okay that I'm not getting rid of as many in this video because all of these products that I'm keeping with some exceptions, which may be fecked off at the end when I do my final review, I actually do really like. I do wear a lot. So, okay, anyway, there's still time for me to feck off some more. So let's do that. So, okay, this is going to be one I'm going to feck off. So this is by Makeup Revolution. It's a, just a kind of standard nude. This is in the shade exclusive. Do I like the shade? Yes. Do I like the formula? Yes. Do I ever, ever use her? No. So she is very much of an easy goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my lover. Okay, so next we have a, a matte lip crayon by L'Oreal. Um, I'm not quite sure what the name is, but it looks like this. L'Oreal brought these out about nine months ago. I do, I have to say, I love myself a lip crayon. Like, I really do. I feel like generally they're quite um, low maintenance kind of lip products, whereas liquid lipsticks can be very drying. I've never really met a lip crayon that is too drying, you know? This one is in the shade Caramel Blondie and it's a beautiful, it's got like a pinky kind of shade. I'm gonna be keeping this because I love a lip crayon. I like the shade and she's relatively new. So I am gonna be keeping her today. Okay, so next I have two of the um, NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. This has kind of been a day for NYX, hasn't it? But I feel like Everyone who loves makeup probably has like tons of lip products by NYX just because NYX create really, really good lip products, amazing range of shades, and most of their formulas are really, really good and they're affordable. These are the original liquid lipsticks that spawned like the entourage of all of the other uh, lip lingerie different formulations that they created. I am going to be getting rid of these two today because I prefer the other formulations, i.e. the push-up crayons. I never wear these. They're very drying and they're very uncomfortable. So these two lip lingeries are out of here. Do you think there's going to come a day where we're just going to all realise that liquid lipsticks are just too fecking drying to be worth it? I just feel like I look, do I look a bit pregnant? I was like, oh, I'm with child. I'm not with child. But for a moment, I was like, oh, she's with child. 
Okay, so next we have a Colourpop lippy sticks. Do you remember when these were all the rage? Even little old me over here in the UK. I bought a bunch of these and paid like more in customs charges and shipping than I actually paid for the fecking products. So this one is in the shade Grunge. It's a gorgeous like grungy brown shade. It's everything to me if I... I don't know if I actually wore it. Like just the, I love grunginess. I love everything about grunge, but I don't wear this. So maybe I don't really love grunge. I don't know, but I'm gonna feck her off because I do not use her. I have another red. I do another one. So this is by Lime Crime. It's one of their, I can't remember the name of the actual liquid lipstick, but this is in the shade Red Velvet. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So I would have to say, honestly, like I prefer Red Velvet to Ruby Woo. Red Velvet is quite, it's like a cherry red. And the texture of it actually, it does look quite velvety on the lips. I'm gonna be keeping uh, this one. What's the name again? Uh, red Velvet. Yeah, I'm going to be keeping Red Velvet. Okay, so guys, that brings us to the end of the second declutter. And this is probably going to be my last declutter now because I do have a couple more lip products, but they're, that, they're the lip like lip products I wear all the time. So they're either in my car, in my bag, or just like in my pocket. They're just like the L'Oreal Color Riche uh, Balms, which uh, they're kind of like a, a glorified lip balm. I wear them all the time. Everyone knows I love them and I'm not even going to, I'm not going to disrespect and humiliate them by even having them here in this environment on the knife's edge of, whoa, will she keep us? Will she not? I love them too much. Do you know what I mean? I cannot bring them into this a savage environment. I feel like next I'm probably going to be moving on to maybe highlighters. Uh, so we'll uh, do a bit of highlighter decluttering. Um, but I am going to finish off now with showing you what I kept and what I got rid of. I'm bragging. It's a humble brag uh, to show you like how well I've done it once again. I mean, really, guys. This is the pile that I've decided to keep over hair. Hair? What? I don't know what that sound was. I meant to say over here. Okay, and this is the pile that we're going to be getting rid of. I would say that it looks even, but I've definitely, like, let's be honest here, definitely keeping more than I'm getting rid of, but I still think that this was really successful and I'm very happy. I know it sounds very, very, very ungrateful to be moaning about how much makeup I have when so many people don't have any makeup. So, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I definitely fell into a trap of just over, over buying and just thinking I needed everything. And I'm really pleased now to just be getting off some of the dead weight. So this is, you know, the result. Very pleased. Um, let me just have a final little cast of the eye just to make sure that I am definitely wanting to keep everything yeah, I'm definitely wanting to keep everything. Okay, okay. Okay, so I really am going to go now. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.